On this first episode, we're going to go over a couple of low-key landings. The H Mansion, as you will see the shape of the H, and Ferris Bueller's. It's actually Ferris Bueller's friend's house. For anyone who's seen the 1986 movie, we're going to start with Ferris's house. Typically, this can be quite a great place to land. Solo matches, low-key duos, or sweaty arenas, where you want to avoid some of the traffic. Don't forget the roof. One of the fantastic things about this location is your ability to rotate out the encounter resistance early game. Negative to this location is there is one spawn for a chest. Extremely low key with regards to resources. However, with access to the sea and fishing spots, you may find that your loot can improve quickly. Doesn't take long to clear it out. This particular game, we are very fortuitous. The circle came our way, which is rare. The negative being a lot of times you have pretty good duration time you're going to have to run all over the map this is the location of where his friend's car went off the side kudos to epic for that easter egg after you loot this you can either go to the crates with the wrecked cargo or to the h mansion but if you strike out on getting shield you have this option which we will use this time if by some chance you are contested at ferris bueller's or the H Mansion. Do not forget about this magical chest out here by the rock where all of this strong luggage is. Also with access to the coast. A couple of things I want you to see when we're talking about the Ferris Mueller H Mansion wrecked cargo low key landing. There are a few bailout spots. You saw the rock with the chest that you need. You saw the area that you can get shield if you don't acquire any. But don't forget about these back islands. If you completely strike out or contested, this area around here that I call <laughs> Starfish Island, where all the starfish are up on the rocks, is another fantastic place in the land. At the H Mansion from the ground level, you'll notice there is an area right here to upgrade, if need be. The first chest here in the bay window. So the loot here is better than that of Ferris Bueller's. But you will find that this one is usually a little more contested if someone does than the other locations. So it takes absolutely no time to loot and farm. So basically two chests. But if we'll continue on out to this area, you'll see in the doghouse the third chest. Depending on how your circle aligns, there is another in the shed just ahead. In the area just to the west of Holly, just by H Mansion, 
you'll see this chest in this location here. So, correct cargo. This is a pretty nice landing site, so it might not be as low key as the others. But situationally, you can assess it for yourself. There are some quick chests here. There's usually a decent loot here. Chest here. Ammo box. Another chest. Another chest up here. So a crazy amount of chests in all one location. A real easy way to get your scavenger metal if you're doing your daily. So looking again from the aerial view, H Mansion here, Ferris Bueller here, Wreck Cargo here, Bailout Island here, Starfish Island here. Starfish, I'll try to get you a more official name. You've at least got a chest when you bail out. H Mansion, behind this rock you have it. Don't forget your full shield here. From Ferris, you can go wreck cargo. If you come over to this little shack, if completely contested everywhere and say an arena match or something that matters, you can at least get yourself a gun and a fighting chance. Thank you for the view. Low key landing. Thanks for the view. Please like and subscribe. A lot more content on the way.